John, it's uh, Rovers against Kelly this weekend. Um, yet another big game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, been all for the start of the season, there's just been one after another, and I think that's how it is, isn't it? Yeah, every three points is uh, massive. We've got a, a, a obviously it's second against third, it's you know, it's right up there. Both teams want to try and get to the top and try and stay at the top for uh, as long a period as you possibly can and still be there in the last game of the season. Five o'clock in the last game of the season, that's uh, that's the time you want to be at the top of the table, but it uh, promises to be a, a really, really good game. Uh, Kilmarnock lost their, yeah, their away record at last Friday night. Uh, I think watching the game and looking at the interviews, I understand Tommy wasn't particularly happy. So he'll be looking for a reaction. We've got to be aware of that. Uh, we're obviously on this 14 game unbeaten run. We want to continue that. But, you know, we're going to have to make sure that we're ready for the reaction and ready to implement our game as well. Uh, so, should be an entertaining game. Uh, they've got good players. Uh, Got uh, a number of options, uh, a couple of former players within their, their squad as well. So it kind of all sort of sets up for a really, really entertaining game. Exactly, yeah. Um, the big uh, the big headline out of Saturday up there at Arbroath was very obviously um, Brad Spencer and having to go off that injury. Um, and you've and you talked to the, the press about it already, but um, just in, in your own words again, what's the diagnosis on Brad and the time scales? Yeah, it's a, a broken fibula. Uh, he got his x-ray on Saturday night into the sm small hours of Sunday morning uh, so he got in contact with me you know, uh, at a reasonable time on Sunday morning and uh, gave me the, the, the bad news so it is a f the fibula uh, he's got a moon boot on it'll be on for approximately between 6 and 8 weeks there he will get a, another x-ray and that will determine how it's healed and at that point in time they'll give us some length of time in rehab for to get him back. We're kind of estimating the whole thing being 12 weeks. Hopefully it's a little bit quicker than that. You know, hopefully it's not any longer than that. Uh, but it's a, it's a blow for Brad. He's been doing particularly well, exceptionally well, and it's a blow for the team. But in all these kind of situations, uh, one door closes, another door opens, and it's up to others to come in and and uh, pick up the pieces and carry on the good work that was been going on. Yeah, and just a further point on the injury. Um, I remember on the day, on the night, Saturday, you said it was a particularly large area of trauma. Yeah. And to the extent that initially you thought it might be muscular, but it is actually a fractured uh, Yeah, that was the indication. You know, we were surprised when it was fractured because the indication was it was muscular. That's what I, well, the, the people who attended to, to Brad immediately you know, thought, but there was quite a lot of trauma. He turned his, turned his ankle as well at the same time. His ankle got caught, his toe got caught, and it kind of turned his ankle. So there was quite a lot of pain. I'm sure that it would have been uh, turning his knee as well. So he would have been in a lot of discomfort from a number of different parts down there. Uh, so he wasn't, he was uh, in agony, you know. He's managed to like go off on crutches. Uh, and Go, going back in the bus, you know, he, he got into a sort of comfortable position. He wasn't like squealing the bus, you know, he was not roll, rolling about in agony in the bus. And it gave me the, the impression that it wasn't a break, you know, and if I had been a betting man, I would have, I bet it wasn't broken. So I was surprised on the Sunday when we got that, uh, you know, news that it was broken. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we'll miss Brad, he's been exceptional. Uh, but, as I say, it's sort of, it's never any different. We've got to get on with it. Get on with it. You know, we've lost Louis for a season, and uh, we're losing Brad there for you know potentially twelve weeks. But as we've lost Louis and we've continued to do the good work, we can we must continue to do the good work without Brad, and that's just the way it is. Yeah, stay positive. And on a positive note, uh, Ethan Ross came on on Saturday, and and he really lit up that left wing, well, lit up the pitch with his pace and his directness. Uh, Great for him to get Player of the Month um, last week. Oh, sorry, that was announced on Monday. Yeah, no, it was absolutely delighted for Ethan. He's came in, hit the ground running. He's a joy to work with, which I knew anyway. I knew that from uh, the previous time he spent here. Uh, that's why we were so keen to, to get him. Delighted for him. His goals, uh, he's added these goals to his game. You know, he got two goals previously that, that came in his last game, I think, against Alloa. So, delighted for him. He thoroughly deserves it. Uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence, he'll have a lot of confidence, and he's a threat. Uh, as I say, he's a joy to work with, even this morning in training. 
you know, there's absolutely no substitute for good football players. And he is a, a good football player. He's got that electric turn of pace. He's got ability. He sees things quickly. He, you know, brings a button. You know, he sharp as a tack. All these type of things. And so, uh, I just love working with him. Yeah, great, great. Finally, John, um, you made a point of going out of your way on Saturday to thank the supporters that have travelled in the weather up to our broth. Um, obviously, half-season tickets are on sale and they're going really well. Just tell me, how much of a difference would a few extra bodies through the gate make every Saturday between now and the end of the season, whenever that is? Yeah, well, we absolutely appreciate everything that the fans have done for us for way back, for a couple of years back when the COVID broke and, uh, you know, the, the, the funding page and everyone contributed to that uh, enormously. And there was, as I say, well, as I said before, like guys like Chris Silvestre, uh actually putting up their league winning medals for auction and there was loads going on and the fans have been absolutely first class throughout that. It was great to get them back in at the end of this, at the beginning of the season. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're delighted with what they're seeing. We're delighted with it that they're back in, back in in numbers. The travelling support has been fantastic, absolutely brilliant. I mean, down, down in Kilmarnock, the last time we played Kilmarnock, you know, we, we needed that back in. You were almost like, you know, sucking that ball in the goal down at Rugby Park with the, the noise that was coming in from behind the goal. And, uh, you know, the home support has been absolutely you know, top drawer. And, of course, if we could get more in here, it's going to help the atmosphere, it's going to help the noise, it's going to help finance, it's going to help, you know, possibly bring in players. And all these things are going to make us better. Uh, you've been back in the stadium. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the good work that's been going on around about the stadium. There's more work continuing. Uh, there's more work going on. It's, a, it's just a all going on all the time there's a lot of good work getting done behind the scenes and you're playing your part you're playing your part massively and it's a, a difficult time of the year but getting over it you know we're all looking forward to a great second half to the season who knows you know who knows we're, we're, we're trying to push to get to the premiership make no mistake about it we're, we're trying we're going to continue to try uh, there's no obstacles in our way it's very much up to us so if you can you know if you can maybe once we get you know over Christmas and New Year, see, half season tickets will still be on sale. Yeah, you can get them now, you can get them then. But we look forward to seeing you, you know, cheering us on. Great, thank you, Jan. Only one other thing to maybe mention is Jamie McDonald, his wife, uh, p proud parents of a, a new baby daughter. Yeah, uh, that's the fourth. Yep, yeah, so that happened uh, on Tuesday. So delighted for Jamie and Roxana uh, and the. And the the new baby girl, okay. so congratulations to them and uh, hopefully Jamie's not got too many uh, sleepless nights. Well done to them, thanks John, good luck. No problem.